Hello, Curly. Hello, Whirly. Hello, Girly. Two lots of sandwiches, Dr. Matthews. Yes, one's for Surgeon Sally. Two lots of sandwiches, Dr. Matthews? Yes, one's for Surgeon Sally. Oh, Sally, uh, I brought you some sandwiches. I came in here for a new mask, not sandwiches, Dr. Matthews. Oh, you mean you won't have time for lunch, Sally? Lunch is for wimps. Oh, well, you won't be wanting your sandwiches, then. Mm. Uh, what? Pampas grass. Oh, yum, yum. Well, Sally, if you can't make lunch, why don't you let me take you for dinner? I'm working late this evening, Matthews. Anyway, dinner's for wimps. When you've finished your sandwiches, perhaps you'd like to get back to work. Oh, I wish Sally would think about something other than her work. Yes. Turnip and mustard. Oh, yum, yum. Oh. What's the problem, Ted? It's Al here. He lives on his own. In a wood all by himself. Never goes out. Not even to the shop. And now he's off his food. Yes. It's a real emergency. But being off your food is hardly an emergency, Ted. It is if you're a wolf. A wolf? <gasps> off his food? Oh. Get him into intensive care immediately, Kitty. Until we know exactly what's wrong with you, Mr. Wolf, we'll need to keep you in this room. Suits me. I don't want to be in the ward. Oh! It's a jungle out there. <laughs> now, Atticus, let's take a look at these x rays. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, right, Sally. Mm. There are the ribs, the backbone. Mm. I don't like the look of that dark mark in the stomach. We will need to operate immediately. Oh. Well, I wonder if we should talk about this first. I've no time for chit-chat. Prepare the theatre. I really think we should do further tests. But Sally won't listen to anyone. You don't need to tell me that, Dr Atticus. Oh. Prepare anaesthetic. Prepare anaesthetic. Scalpel. Scalpel. Sally, I really think we should investigate Mr Wolf's problem a little more. Oh, we should, should we? And why is that? Well, for one thing, Sally, that shape on the X-ray... What about it? It was a slice of cucumber from Dr Atticus's sandwich. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. No. Uh, um, I wondered where that had got to. <laughs> Good job Kitty spotted that piece of cucumber at the time. <laughs> it certainly was. I was feeling quite peckish just then. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's time we moved you into the main ward, Mr. Wolf. Oh, there? With all those animals? I know what you mean, but we need the room. Besides, a bit of company will cheer you up. I don't want company. Don't want cheering up. I just want some peace and quiet. <laughs> yeah, well, so do we. That's why we're taking you into the main ward. And then we can get some lunch. Oh. <laughs> right, it's all built. Now, who's going to try and blow it down first? Me! OK, Whirly, then Curly, then me. Boy, just a minute. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, you're useless, you lot are. Oh. But you can blow it down. Easy peasy. Why, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow that house down. You watch. <laughs> Gosh! It's brilliant! Now, perhaps you'll shut up so I can get some peace and quiet. I wonder if Mr Wolf would like asparagus or parsnip in his sandwiches. Probably neither. Howl! Howl! Mr Wolf to you. Mr Wolf! Mr Wolf! We've built a new house. Bet you can't blow this one down. Go away, I'm ill. Anyway, I'm a wolf. You're supposed to be afraid of me. But we like you playing with us, Mr Wolf. And we built a house you'll never blow down. Rubbish. I can huff and puff and blow any house down. Not this one. You watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, am I? 
Now go and leave me in peace. What are all these clipboards doing all over the place? Mr. Wolf is supposed to be getting rest. Now, have you been eating today, Mr. Wolf? I don't feel like eating. Not even three little pigs. No? Things are bad. Potato watercress sandwiches? No. I don't think Mr. Wolf would like these either. That's good. How do you feel? I do feel better. Don't know why. Especially with those piglets bothering me. Funny piglets usually run away from me, like everyone else. Oh, the piglets love you. Don't you get lonely living alone in the woods? Never, you see. I've always been a bit of a, well, a lone wolf. Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Come and blow down our house! Now, Mr. Wolf has got better things to be Where doing than... Where is it? Than... I can huff and puff any house down. <laughs> Yes, I can, you rascally piglets. Oh, well done, Mr. Wolf. You're a hero. Easy. Nothing to it. And by the way, why don't you call me Howl? That's my name. Actually, nurse, I'm feeling a little peckish. Are you, Mr. Wolf? Howl? Well, I'll go and get you a sandwich. Perhaps potato and watercress. <laughs> Dr. Matthews, Dr. Matthews, Hal's much better. I've had a chat with him, and I think I've worked out the problem. That's great, Kitty. You know Hal's always been a lone wolf. Mm. Well, now that he's found out what it's like having friends for the first time, he suddenly feels better. Oh. Rubbish. What's wrong with him is something medical. No, 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 no. Why is he asking for a potato and watercress sandwich? Oh, oh. Oh, Mr. Wolf. How? Oh. Hello, Curly. Got any more houses you need blowing down? We have, but this time even you won't be able to do it. Just you watch me. Just you watch this. <laughs> That is pretty terrific, Sally. I thought I was good at huffing, but blow me, I've never seen anything like it. Ah, oh, really? There's nothing, actually. Easy. Hardly had to blow at all. Hooray! Oh, Sally, I think we've got an emergency on our hands. Guess what? I've just been playing this great new game. I must tell you all about it. Really? Sounds like fun. What you do is this. But look, why don't I tell you about it over dinner tonight? Dinner? Great! But what's changed your mind? Hmm, I don't know. I suppose I hadn't realised it's quite good to spend some time with your friends. Yes. Well, that's... Uh, oh, that's great. But before we go, Sally, we'd better have a look at this new emergency. What emergency? Oh! Oh! Oh, I feel terrible. I think I've eaten too much. Mm. Oh, no! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.